students, let's talk about how you're going to build this thing. <clears throat> you are going to need a piece of 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And what we will do, this is the longer edge right here, the 11 inch side. And we're going to roll up this piece of paper along the long edge. I'm going to use a wooden dowel just like this. And I'm going to wrap it over on itself. And I'm going to roll that as tightly as I can. Just like this. Sometimes it's difficult to get it started. And there I go. I'm going to pull the tube out. And before it completely unrolls on me, right here at the seam, I'm going to tape that down. Okay? And I'm going to put about three pieces of tape on there, one at the big, the end, this end, one at the middle, and then one at the other end. Okay? So now I have a nice rolled up tube. And this, believe it or not, is a good uh, a building material to build things with. Okay, now what we are going to do, we're going to take our 11 inch tube that we just rolled. If you remember, we rolled it up on the long edge and the long edge of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper is 11 inches. So there it is. If you roll it up nicely like this, you can measure here, starting right here at zero and measure over here to five and a half. Okay. And if you did this correctly, you should have one five and a half inch piece on this side and then another five and a half inch piece going from five and a half inches over here to 11. So that should give you two five and a half inch pieces. So what I will do now is I'm gonna cut on this line, just like so. Now I have two five and a half inch pieces. To make your dome, you're gonna have to have 35 five and a half inch pieces. They look like this. <clears throat> and what we'll do is we will call the five and a half inch pieces, these are the larger pieces that we'll call piece B. So you are going to need 35 five and a half inch pieces that we'll call piece B. For the smaller pieces, you're going to need a smaller sized piece. And what you're going to do for that is you are going to make smaller pieces that are four and seven eighths of an inch. Four and seven eighth inch pieces, they're going to be marked right here. If you count, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments here. Mark it at four and seven eighths. Now, with one 11 inch piece here, you should be able to get two four and four and seven eighth inch pieces out of one 11 inch piece of tube. And you'll have a little bit left over. So let's look at the size difference. You've got your four and seven eighth inch pieces. And then you also have your five and a half inch pieces right here okay so you will need thirty four and seven eighth inch pieces okay so you're gonna need thirty of the smaller ones that are four and seven eighth inches and then you're going to need thirty five of those so you got 35 five and a half inch pieces and 30 four and seven eighth inch pieces. You're gonna take 10 of your five and a half inch pieces and lay them out into a decagon. And an octagon, like a stop sign, has eight sides. Well, a decagon has 10 sides. So I've got two extra sides here. So you're gonna lay them out. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. So to get this thing sort of loosely assembled, I'm going to go around and just 
set some tape on there and I'm going to be careful when I do it and try not to lose the shape of my decagon. See how I'm doing that? So very carefully go around and get your pieces connected like so. So after you get your pieces of tape on there they should look you should have a loose decagon like this and you can you see how it's kind of flexible that's good what you're going to want to do then is tighten up everything right here and get this wrapped around there and make everything nice and neat so i've got one of my little joints right here and i'm just going to finish wrapping that around here just like that and i might even get another little piece of tape and wrap it around there and you want this to be flexible you can just kind of get it looking like that and you're going to go around each one and kind of take that little piece wrap it around and then reinforce it again with another piece just like that so i double wrapped all my joints everything's looking pretty good if it's kind of uh, not perfect that's okay this one has a little bit of looks like it's squished inwards a little bit but as we start to build up our dome it'll start to take better shape all right so now i want to take two of my smaller pieces and these are the pieces that are four and seven eighth inches these two pieces so i'm going to get rid of these longer ones but i just put these here to illustrate that these are in fact shorter so I'm going to take two of these shorties right here and I'm going to make a triangle right here and just as I did before I am going to just set a piece of tape right there and set a piece of tape here okay just like so Try to get that as close as you can. And what we'll do is just kind of do this. Okay. So this is a triangle made out of the A pieces, which are the small pieces. So this piece right here is the larger one, okay, which is the B piece. This piece right here, these two pieces are the A piece, and these are smaller, okay? So I just kind of prop mine up like this and taped it so that would be like that. And I can go back in there and make that stronger in a minute. Now you remember that these were made out of two A pieces here. This next one, we're gonna switch it up and use two B pieces, okay? So I'm gonna get two of my B pieces here and make a triangle right here, okay? So here's how I'm doing it. I'm just kinda <clears throat> propping it up like that and I'm just putting a little piece of tape just you know and if it's a little bit crinkly and if you have to rip it that's fine okay and if you have a little extra that's okay too so this triangle is made out of the short pieces and this is made out of the longer ones so what we're gonna do is go short tall short tall and repeat that pattern so you can see I have a pattern emerging here. I have tall, short, tall, short. So you're gonna repeat this pattern of short, tall, short, tall, and go all the way around your decagon. So you can kind of see what I've got going on right here. I've got short, or tall, short, tall, short, if you can kind of see, I've got this alternating pattern. See, short, tall, short, tall. And I'm starting to get this thing built up. <clears throat> now, one thing to keep in mind 
is on the other side of these joints, you might want to put a little piece of tape there to make sure that they don't slide off. Okay, so watch out for that.